On March 26, 2022, at 7.06 a.m. local time, the Taal volcano south of Manila in the Philippines produced an unexpected explosive eruption. As the minutes after the initial explosion passed, it became clear that this eruption was different than prior eruptive episodes witnessed in 2021 and earlier in 2022. Instead of simply consisting of a single burst, the eruption was defined by continuous activity. These continuous explosions were unusually large, generating a series of superheated gas currents referred to as pyroclastic flows. Some of these flows overflowed to all islands main crater lake. As the eruption continued, a continuous plume of steam and ash was carried high into the atmosphere, reaching an altitude of 11,000 feet or 3,350 meters. Some of this emitted ash fell back to the ground around the crater lake as seen in this video. This eruption energetically continued for another 114 minutes and then stopped. What had just occurred was Taal's largest volcanic eruption since January of 2020. The up to 1 km high explosions witnessed were multicolored where the white coloration represented primarily water vapor and the black represented ash and small fragments of lava. Since a combination of water and fresh lava fragments were ejected, the eruption could best be described as phreatomagmatic. Although the eruption may seem to have ended, this is not necessarily the case. Five volks correctly raised Taal's alert level from 2 to 3 and strongly recommended the evacuation of everyone on Taal Island and more than a half dozen communities on the western section of Taal's Caldera Lake. Although these evacuations have not yet been made official, I also encourage everyone to evacuate in an 8 km radius of Taal's summit. Here is why. In recent months, although much of Taal's island has been slightly subsiding, a small section of it was being uplifted. This uplift was confined to a straight line area representing a very shallow dike intrusion of magma. The fear is that what just occurred is merely a precursor to a much larger eruption which could create a powerful explosion at the aforementioned dike. Such an explosion would create pyroclastic flows that would be primarily directed to the west and would travel across the caldera lake incinerating all vegetation in their path and potentially reaching nearby communities. A large pyroclastic flow might also affect more far-reaching areas as previous large pyroclastic density currents have historically created tsunamis which raced around the caldera lake. Of course, what I just outlined represents a worst-case scenario which although unlikely could very well happen. Ever since July of 2020, the Taal volcano has been producing insanely high levels of sulfur dioxide gas. The amount of sulfur dioxide gas released is a good indication of how much shallow magma is present. The more gas there is, the more shallow magma is present and thus the more likely an explosive eruption becomes. Ignoring today's eruption, the last 18 months of volcanic activity at Taal were defined by small-scale phreatomagmatic bursts. These occurred quite randomly, although 85% of recent bursts occurred on days when the volcano produced more than 10,000 tons of sulfur dioxide gas. 10,000 tons may not sound like a lot, so let me give you some context. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii produces 2,000 tons of sulfur dioxide each day while it is erupting. Yet, on several occasions, Taal has produced more than 20,000 tons in a day during periods when it has not been erupting. Thus, a large amount of magma exists at very shallow depths which could theoretically erupt in an eruption larger than what occurred in January of 2020, or it might remain there and solidify at depth. Thanks for watching, and please stay safe. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Zach Baker for supporting this channel.